Florida, the fishing capital of the world. With over 2,000 miles of pristine shoreline, join three-time World Sailfish Championship winner and pro angler Peter Miller as he takes these lucky winners on a once-in-a-lifetime fishing adventure. From freshwater to saltwater, ocean to Everglades, come join us for a fishing experience like no other. This is Florida's Bass to Billfish, presented by Yellowfin. After submitting an audition video, newlyweds Branton and Lindsay have been selected for this episode of Bass to Billfish. I want to hit Miami. <laughs> Absolutely. After traveling from cold and snowy Springfield, Missouri, this adventurous couple arrive in beautiful Miami, Florida to explore the best the Sunshine State has to offer. I'm picking up Branton and Lindsay. They're coming in from Missouri and they're going to be our guests today. Fishing in Miami on Bass to Billfish, presented by Yellowfin Boats. I live in Florida. I go bill fishing one day, and the next day I go bass fishing, next day I go tarpon fishing or bone fishing. So what I wanted to do was bring these people in and give them a vacation and let the viewers follow behind the scenes, in, in a sense, to see what they're doing. I'm, I'm as excited as they are for this trip. And you can watch TV at home and say, you know what, I want to come to Florida. I want to fish. I want to do what those guys are doing. I want to do all those fun things because it looks great. OK, so you're going to take an escalator or an elevator? The idea is to show people a good time and catch fish. They're coming down the escalator right now. They just got off their flight. I went into the airport to meet them. They came down the escalator, and they were genuine, cool, friendly, fun-loving, ready to do whatever, whenever. And that's you know what the show's about. Well, you guys look exactly like the video. It was fun. We all hit it off right away. Walked and... down. Peter made a couple jokes and uh, just kind of eased up from there. Yeah. Right. Pause, cool. get your bags. All right. <laughs> we were walking to get our bags and smelt this foul odor. Yeah. Peter spouts yeah. off. Did someone just crop dust us? We just got killed. <laughs> And we knew that we were going to be a good match at that point. We were on the same, um, same level there. <laughs> you know, the video they sent me showed them in their backyard on the porch. Hi, y'all. I'm Lindsay. And I'm Brandon. We're ready to do this fishing trip. <laughs> with trees in the background with no leaves, the grass is all brown. Brandon was holding a snowball, and he was like, please take us to Miami. we we got to get some sun. So let's go bass fishing. Got right. <laughs> <laughs> It was a gorgeous day out, and we decided to take them shopping for their first day to get them rigged up for our fishing trip. I mean, we definitely weren't wearing fishing gear. Yeah, so. we weren't in the appropriate clothing to do what we knew we were probably going to be doing, so we head out to the Fort Lauderdale Bass Pro. We walk in, and one of the first things we stumble upon is a picture of Peter. looking through some of the rods and reels. Pink rod caught her eye. Hey. hey, this is more my style. <laughs> it has little LED lights. Yeah, I like you that. You like that one? Yep. You like the lights? <laughs> That's cute. They all kind of thought it was a joke, but I was actually really excited about this. <laughs> yep. Uh, yep. This feels like the one. When you buy the Bass Pro brand rods, they put line on it for you. I've never had anyone uh, do this for me. You haven't? Oh, yeah, we're doing I'm so surprised. Oh, yeah, no, this is great. So here she is with a brand new rod, LED lights spinning around pink with brand new braid on there, and we're ready to go. Coming up next on Bass to Billfish. Hey, hey, wine, reel. You gotta keep it reeling, girl. And I can see a little sweat developing on his brow because he hadn't caught anything yet. Uh -huh. His wife had caught about six or seven fish so far. He was having some terrible luck. We'll be out here for a while. Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller is brought to you by Visit Florida. Unleash your Florida side. Go to visitflorida.com. Yellowfin. Choice of champions. Pet Boys. Does everything for less.
Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Ray Marine, world leaders in marine electronics. We get in the car and Peter drops the bomb that we're going to head out to the Everglades. When we first got there, you know, Peter was still back putting, in the boat in. Right, and yeah. we actually went and stood on this like kind of a dock area and we're just practicing really. One of his fishing buddies was helping us, giving us a few pointers. I got my boy Madison here, he's helping us out. He's a professional bass fisherman. He's gonna show us some of the spots. I wanted him to run the electric, drive occasionally, so I could spend some time with uh, Branton and Lindsay. How have they been biting? Uh, pretty good, I went out a couple days ago and really put a hurting on them. We took out a 24 foot yellowfin boat with a 300 Merc on the back. You know, we're used to coming out here in bass boats, but you don't necessarily need a bass boat. These yeah. boats now, they're kind of like hybrid style. Right. And they have a jack plate on the back. You can jack the engine up and get in shallow water. We've got an electric motor on the bow so we can fish oh, like the bass guys. Right on. We're using products that we use in salt water, the Ray Marine stuff. And we pop it right on here. It works equally as well in the fresh water, salt water. So you can fish pretty much anywhere. It was really cool. We head about five miles out and we're, you know, in the middle of the Everglades. There's grass on each side. There's different paths. We see gators swimming across. Yeah, that was, was really cool. It was really awesome. Hey, hey, wind up, wind, reel. You got to keep it reeling, girl. Yeah, no, <laughs> She's like, I got something. Yeah, nobody, everybody's like, uh, whatever. Like, huh? What? <laughs> hey, you got one on the pink rod. Let's go, let's see what we got here. Hey, don't we keep reeling, sister? As I was reeling it in, my pole is just bending like <laughs> at a 90 degree angle. <laughs> that pink pole could not support the size of that bass. <laughs> oh, oh, nice! Pink rod! Look at that. <laughs> That's awesome! <laughs> oh, man. The pink rod! We knew it! <laughs> we had a great time, and, and Lindsay, she brought that pink fishing rod of hers, and she was the top, top stick. I think I got a bite. I think I got a bite. Lindsay's got one on. Nice work. Oh, my God. You are unbelievable. Oh, God. That's even bigger than your first one. Yeah. <laughs> she is good. <laughs> Let's go again. He asked me if they were going to have any free time because they'd never gone to an NBA game. We're sitting there fishing, and he's uh, kind of nonchalant. Oh, hey, by the way, I know you guys talked about being big fans of uh, the Lakers and the Miami Heat. Yeah, definitely. We called a, uh, a friend of ours, and He's able to give you guys two tickets to the Heat game, hey, Heat versus Lakers, tomorrow night. No way. Oh, yep. my tomorrow? gosh. Oh, man. It's like, no way. You're kidding. <laughs> yeah, we wanted to show you that guys a good so time. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's exciting. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That would be so much fun. So I wanted to kind of, you know, give him a hard time about it. The only stipulation is, Brandon, you have to catch one. I got to catch one first? Is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> oh, great. And I could see a little sweat, you know, developing on his brow, you know, because he hadn't caught anything yet, and his wife had caught about six or seven fish so far. We'll be out here for a while. God. She's a fish slayer. We keep oh. <laughs> okay. Every time I thought I had one, I'd yank, and the lily pad would move. Yeah, he caught, yeah, so. a, lot of, he caught a lot of foliage. How many is that? I'm going for double digits, guys. Fish after fish. He was unbelievable. Ah. He was having some terrible luck. God, you're making me look bad, babe. <laughs> Come on, you and your pink pole. I think he really wanted to go to the game because about five minutes later, there was his first fish. Got one. Yeah. Brenton, finally. We're going to the game. Heat game. <laughs> right here. You just weren't trying that hard before. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I kept telling you anyways. <laughs> I like the way you guys reel them up. Like once again, congratulations, Branton. Thank you, sir. You just earned yourself a trip to the Miami Heat game versus the Lakers tomorrow night <laughs> with that one fish. Coming up next on Bass to Billfish. Hang on, guys. He's free jumping right there. Yep. Getting a bite right here. Keep whining. Keep going. There it is. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Not losing? 
I don't know, keep winding, keep winding. Clark, slow down. Newlyweds Branton and Lindsay have had a blast catching largemouth bass in the Everglades. Lindsay's got one on. Nice work. Now, Peter decides to take them off the coast of Miami Beach for some sailfish action. I had our chase boat with our, my captain from my fishing team and mate and a couple of friends gear up everything, have the bait ready. We hopped on the boat and they were just blown away. It was picture perfect. <laughs> on our way out there, you see those still houses. You look over and you see downtown Miami. Really cool scenery. There's world record bonefish taken from that exact area. People travel from all over the world to come to this one spot to catch bonefish. They couldn't get over it. And then a seaplane came in and landed right next to us and they, they thought we had planned it and they couldn't get over it. They, they figured it was like Fantasy Island. You know, like Tattoo was gonna come by in a second. You guys ready? Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's hit it. All right, hang on. Here we go. Right now, we're about 20 and 30 feet. Okay. Then it's going to drop off 40, 50, and then it goes 60, 80, 90, and then 120 and deeper. Okay. So we're going to head into that area. So when we went offshore, we were going to use kites. We're going to fly about six live baits off these kites. You see this right here? We're sitting at 124 feet. Yeah. Yeah. We got the bait fish down at about 100 or so feet. So this is going to be a pretty productive spot. There's some weed around, and what happens when you have the weed is that the bait fish congregate under there, and then the predators come over to get those. Our goal is to get in an area that's really productive, and we think, you know, 120 feet in this area off this edge, past couple of days has been pretty producing a bunch of fish, so cool. I, can't, right. I can't promise you anything. <laughs> because kite fishing is kind of an elaborate setup, I called my buddy Clark and Froggy, who's a mate on my fishing team, to help us out. So when we got the boat out there, they were already waiting for me out there, and they hopped on board with us to help me deploy the kites, to help me put baits on and clear rods, and luckily they were there because the action ensued. He's oh, jumping, yeah, Sam. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Immediately, I see a free jumper. Hang on, guys. Free jumping right just, there. Yep. Just above the bow. Yeah. All right, we're going to get this guy. We're going to set up just south of him. Yep, what they do is they run south. You set up south of those jumps, put out some bait, you should be set. You got the Gulf Stream that runs north. The sailfish swim against it. So when you see a sailfish, you know he's going to continue that way. He's getting a bite right here. Come on, eat it. There you go, there you go. There you go, come on. Come on, eat it. Eat it all the way. All right, here we go. Come on. Stay tight. Froggy, right on the right side. Right side. Clark, bump ahead. Come right at us. So instantly, we're hooked up with a sailfish. I give Branton the rod. Keep pointing. There you go. Start reeling it in, and it was a sailfish on there. Pretty good sized one. Keep pointing, keep going. Oh, there it is. Get real, 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 real. There it is, he's jumping right there. You know, he's up in the bow of the boat. We're going full throttle at this fish to try to chase him down. Nice and up and easy. Great. I got it pretty close to the boat, and he's jumping three or four times. There it is. Oh, wow. Yeah, keep on Holy sh Keep on it. Oh, stop. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, oh, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Keep on it. There it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wind, wind. Clark, slow down. Wind, you gotta wind. Keep winding. Not losing? On that fourth time, he, get, he gets completely out of the water and I just lose him. <laughs> Son hey. of a. Hey, man. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Dang. All right, let's put him out again, man. You guys saw yeah. your first sailfish, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Coming up next on Bass to Billfish. Sure enough, as soon as he finished with that fish, we get a bite. Look out, look out. I was sliding back down around the uh, engines there. I almost flew off the back of the boat. Oh my god! Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller is brought to you by Visit Florida. Your Florida side is calling. Go to visitflorida.com. Pet Boys does everything for less. Ray Marine, world leaders in marine electronics. FWC, there's only one season in Florida, fishing season.
Also by Sperry Van Ness Commercial Realty, Buff, and the Florida Sports Foundation. Kite fishing off the coast of Miami, Florida, Branton hooks up with an Atlantic sailfish. There it is. Yeah, oh, yeah. But after a heartbreaking loss, Son of a... they regroup and quickly get another chance. Drop it, no, do it. All right, Brandon, let's see what we got here. He's screaming. It's a good fish, whatever it is. We weren't sure if it was a tuna, a bonita, or a skipjack tuna, but either way, they all fight equally as well, and they're tough. Wind down and watch your reel. Make sure you're gaining line and keep going like that, and then stop, and then pull up. Perfect. You got it, keep it, keep it tight. Always have a bend in the rod. If you don't have a bend, you need to wind a little faster, but you're doing great. Keep going. Keep it going, Brandon. You're doing great. Man. And it took him about 10 minutes. It turned out to be a species in the tuna family. Nice. It was it was pretty exciting for him. Awesome. All right. Hey. All right. While I'm fighting that one, Lindsay gets a bite. Okay, Lindsay, here you go. You got a sailfish on, girl. Here. Okay. Once I got the bite, they came around and tied the fighting belt on me real quick. Okay, Lindsay, here we're gonna do. We couldn't fasten it around her. The Velcro wasn't big enough. So I tied a big granny knot, got the thing nice and tight on her. She's winding on the fish. I was definitely feeling a good workout in the arms. Yeah. He's close now. He's probably, where that line's entering the water, now pull up. In the distance, you literally see it jumping out of the water. And Oh, I see it. Oh, nice. Oh, look at that, babe. Easy. Keep, keep that nice and tight, tight. no yanking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice, let him go. Yay. Oh. And then another bite comes. It's a huge dolphin. All right, go get the fish. All right. 30 pound dolphin? Oh my God. The real, real girl. Don't freaking look around. What? Whoa. Look at Holy him. cow, it's a big dolphin. Holy cow, Holy it's crap. a huge dolphin. There was so much chaos on the boat. It was really, really exciting. And all this was happening at once. We're about to get the release. As soon as that leader touches, we got a release. Okay, pull up, wind down. Pull up, wind down, bring me that later, bring me that line. There you go, you got it, back up, Mara, back up, back up, I want to touch it. Ah! <laughs> almost, almost, they pull up. Wait, we can't, yeah, wait, hold it. You know, we're using we light go. monofilament leader. You never know what's going to happen. You put enough pressure on that fish, he's going to come off. Clark, go to the right. She fought that fish for close to 30 minutes. Got the fish to the boat, and I'm reaching and reaching and reaching, and I'm like, I mean, it was literally inches away from my hand, and I thought to myself, I'm gonna dive in the water if I have to grab this fish and wrestle him back to the boat. Okay? Here we go. Here we go. All right. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Where we do it? Nice! All right. I've never caught anything bigger than, I mean, a small bass back home in Missouri. So that was by far the largest yeah. <laughs> that I've ever caught. That is skin. so awesome. Give me some skin, bro. Yeah. That's awesome. Good job, babe. Uh, we released the sailfish. Perfect swims away. Everything was great. And he continues to fight his dolphin. Pull up and then one more, one more, pass down. There you go. That's it. Pound for pound, a dolphin at that size fights harder than a sailfish because a sailfish will stay up on the surface. Dolphins Hard dig left. down deep and they sound. They go free right jumping ahead. away and they don't really give up. So he really had his work cut out for him. It's a big one. Yeah. Look at that thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now back up. Start to back up and then wind down again. There's this ice chest because we we're going to keep the dolphin. So, so I'm reeling and I'm used to like stepping back on it and using it as a crush. Well, I lean back and I just fall into the ice. I'm still really. Keeps really, stands back up. Hop keeps back really. up. <laughs> wind up. Okay, wind your slack up. Wind your slack up, Brandon. Brandon, wind your slack to the tip. Hang on, okay? You're good, you're good. I'm pulling him in inch by inch. We're on, just man. about to stick the gaff in him. And the fish goes under the boat, out the other side. I got it, I got it. I grabbed the rod from him, dipped the rod underwater, went into free spool. It got stuck on the engine, so our captain, Clark, raised the eight motors up. I went around the one engine, and then it was stuck between the second engine. Branton doesn't know that if the fish is going around the other side, 
you need to put the rod underwater. I mean, you can't really explain that to somebody when it happens. And I still was in free spool. So when I locked it up to wind up the slack, sure enough, the rod bent. And the fish was still there, and I couldn't get over it. I said, Brenton, come here. You're back on. Yeah. OK, nice and easy. Just back up. Back up. Give me the tip. Easy, easy. Walk with me, Brandon. Walk with me. Big fish. Brandon. Oh, fight was awesome. Yeah, that was probably the best part of it. Just you know. Most exciting because you had to work so hard to get. And they just looked at me. They're like, "Is it? Is it always like this out here?" I mean, you guys had a phenomenal day. I look over and the sun's setting, hitting the horizon. I mean, it couldn't have been any better. Uh, oh my God, amazing. it was so cool. That was a blast. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we got both of them. You guys have never done this before and you guys did a phenomenal job. I'm proud of you guys. Thank you. That was fun. Cool. So we caught this, this 35 pound dolphin. Everyone's excited. <laughs> Our mate Froggy is very good friends at a local restaurant where you can bring them your fish and they'll cook it for you. So we go to this place, it's family style. It was delicious. What was your favorite? Um, I think it was like macadamia, macadamia encrusted. Was it was really good. It was really good. Yeah. All I have to say is thanks for coming. Welcome to Miami. Congratulations. Thanks for having us. Thanks Thank everybody you, for your help. It was a great day. You guys did a phenomenal job. It was a great meal, and they just couldn't get over it. They, it was really a whirlwind for them. They had just stepped off the plane. Since then, they've been shopping at Bass Pro, got outfitted. We went bass fishing in the Everglades on a 24-foot yellowfin. We went offshore on a 32-foot yellowfin, caught trophy fish, caught a 35-pound dolphin, caught sailfish, and we ended the whole trip eating fresh dolphin at a local restaurant that they cooked for us, and then take them to the Miami Heat Lakers game. We sent them on their way. And that was the whole plan, to have someone come down and experience Florida like we experience it. I honestly got to do some things that I probably would have never really gotten to do. And I don't know that we really ever would have if we wouldn't have had this opportunity. They are so excited, and it excites me to be able to do that for them.